Uh, as I was uh, strolling around the internet, uh, I came across uh, this uh, person's page, uh, Cassie King, and saw her uh, video, Deism According to Pizza. Uh, sound like an interesting topic because, uh, 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 in interesting topic because I am aware of the, mu the uh, movie named Mystic Pizza. So, watch it. Well, it's kind of interesting, but it's, again, it's it's what happens a lot of time when people are dealing with these subjects. Uh, you're dealing with a su you can't s simply dismiss something out of hand. And I'm not uh, agreeing or disagreeing with it at this point in time. I'm just sort of stating that a, a an out of hand dismissal of something. Or trivializing it to the point where you could say it's equivalent to making a pizza. In terms of oh, we know everything. That that it it it, 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 it trivializes something that could be a very complex subject. I mean, give you just you know just to give you an idea. I mean, if it was such a trivial trivial subject, the papacy was born. In 10, 1064, uh, I think, yeah, 1064, or around, around 1000 A.D., let's put it there, around 1000 A.D., let's not get into the little bits after it, because it wasn't uh, uh, too much longer into, into 1000 A.D. that it actually, that the, that the Roman Catholic Church formed based on its idea of what God should be. Um, and it's had more than a thousand years' worth of history in it. And while you can disagree with a subject in terms of what what a person says, it is often beneficial, when you, particularly when you when you're a free thinker, to not only understand what the person says, whether you agree with it or disagree with it, but rather why the person believes what they believe, what were their experiences in their belief, what was you know what led them to these conclusions, and then of course afterwards, if 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 you're looking at the just looking at the belief, which is the theology. Theology is the belief of God, no matter what, the, what your belief is, including whether you believe in multiple gods or no god whatsoever. That's a, that's your theology there. Um, the religion is the practice of that theology. Again, that practice of whatever you believe in, whether it's one god, multiple gods, or no god. And there is even uh, a state a, 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 a position for those who are uncertain about God. Those are the agnostics. And if you look towards the founding fathers of America, while you can say they were Christians, and on the surface they were Christians, they belonged to a regular church, uh, underneath, and you can see this on the American dollar, uh, and a lot of reference to this in uh, the halls of Congress, the founding fathers were, were Freemasons. The Freemasonry group is not a Christian group. It is a agnostic group. It is a group that believes that there is a God out there, but not much is known. It, 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 it takes what it states as a free and open mind position about God. So, coming out and stating that deism, which is basically a recent term, is equivalent to making uh, pizza, you know, in terms of its how, how the, the world was created, you know, in terms of its, you know, uh, as you say, a compromise between science and religion, which deism can be argued, could, is that, but can't, you can't argue that this is what deism is, but although I think people who actually believe in deism, the deists themselves, for the people who call themselves deists, would argue differently. And of course, an atheist really can't argue against it in, in many terms, because much of the atheist arguments themselves are beliefs anyway. They, they've gotten, the atheists have no more proof that God doesn't exist than a Christian or any other deist does. So, the simple dismissal 
is something that you should re think carefully about before. You know, I think it's, you're you're more than within your right to say whatever you want to say about it. But my argument would be is that if you plan to jump into these ar these arguments and consider it as a project, that you start looking and questioning yourself in terms of how you believe in things. Because basically that's, that's where, if you're a free thinker, that's where you start. You start by questioning why you believe what you believe, come to an understanding of that, and you don't have to come to a full, you know, a complete understanding, you just come to an understanding. And then go and look and compare your understandings to other people's understandings. And there will be things you agree with, and things you don't agree with, and things you are indifferent about. So my recommendation in terms of what I think about uh, what you said and what your project is about uh, is that you should, you know, take a more in-depth approach, a, a you know, a serious study on this. And a serious study is not a, uh, a couple month long uh, school project. A serious and uh, uh, and a serious study uh, could be in the order of years. And there are people who spend enormous amounts of time in libraries doing just that, spending years studying a particular subject. Uh, to give you an example, there, uh, the, some of the books I study uh, on theology uh, come from a, the time around Christ where the common language uh, was Greek. And it's not the modern Greek that we see today, but it's an older form of Greek, Greek like English or any language that has been around for time, has an evolution of words and how words are used. So, you go to, and this is what I do, I go online to the University of the Tufts University in Boston, and using their lexicon, online lexicon, and a variety of other different sources, uh, including uh, uh, libraries that specialize in Byzantine uh, books and manuscripts from that time period, you could spend, and I've done this, four or five months studying the origin of, and use of one word. That's what, that's, that's, we're not just simply say, talking about about <laughs> a whole concept of deism. We're talking about one word, like the term, let's say you go, well, go look up the term Genesis in the Bible. Well, you're not going to find the term uh, uh, Genesis in the original Bible. What you'll find is it, it, you'll talk, find the term Yenithis. It sounds like a, but you can see that the, the Greek borrows from the English. I mean, the English borrows from the Greek a lot of times. And it has a variety of forms like Yenata, right? Yenata. And in Greek, rather than saying Merry Christmas, we say Christu Yenata, which means Christ is born. And you can see the Yonata in the Yenesis, right, in the beginning. So in ra rather than simply saying in the beginning, the Greek infers and implies not just a simple beginning of the universe, but the birth of the universe. Because uh, the Yenesis' re relationship to Yonata gives you the implication into birth. The same the thing goes when you look at the term day in the uh, English text of the uh, Bible for Genesis. You go into the Greek text of the Bible and the word day doesn't appear. What you say is aeona. Aeona is the word that, that you find in the Greek text. Well, you look up in the Greek text and see how the word Iona translate. And while you can't get the term day, it not it is never used really in the term meaning day. Iona is what the English will know as eon. If you look at the term if you look at the term eon and you use it any of the uh, geological texts, you will find eon. If you go back to the history of the word, comes from the Greek word Iona, and the Iona is what is used in the Bible, is, is, is what is used in Genesis, not days. And so what happens is that you've got a translation difference from the Greek that the Bible was written in. 
at around 300 AD, and the actual English translation. So you, you could spend a good year looking at the errors in translation alone before you get into the serious topic of deism. And so this, I, 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 I strongly suggest that if you're going to take this as a project, that you start really sort of opening uh, your thoughts up to what's around you in terms of what the resources are. And if you need any help, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, I am a researcher, I'm a scientist, and I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I will give you some ideas on how to look for libraries online so that you don't have to spend an enormous amount of time walking around to different libraries. Most of the resources can be found online now. Anyways, I hope this helps. Um, I hope you move forward with your project. Don't be discouraged if you get negative uh, comments. And it was nice talking to you.